I didn't think I, there was any chance of living in, an, in a climate where the government would start handing down mandates that would absolutely crush my business. I didn't think it was possible. My name is Jenny Grove Bradshaw and um, I'm located in Northern Virginia and I'm the founder and director of the Compass Homeschool Program. So I had this vision in the spring of 2012 for creating a space for other homeschoolers to come together and engage in um, small group classes. So for some families, maybe a parent's not comfortable teaching science and so they say, we are always going to take our science classes at Compass because we don't want to do that at home. For someone else, they want their kids to interact and socialize. And so our teachers are, they're rock stars. The kids just rally around these teachers. We rent a large facility where I can host as many as 16 classes simultaneously at any one hour. I really believe in hands-on learning. They're building, they're painting, they're cooking. Um, just a lot of hands-on learning happening. In Virginia, the shutdown, the order to stay home, happened right between a break in our terms. And so I had to make the very, very painful decision to cancel all of my kindergarten through eighth grade classes. We were able to move 35 high school classes online. The kids were counting on those classes for high school credit. And so we were able to transition to those. And, and we got them up and online and meeting uh, with a great credit to our teachers in five days. I wanted to show leadership and that I've made a decision that um, unless there is a state law that prevents us from going back, I plan to go back. We plan to return to in-person classes. At the end of the day, it's the parent's choice. They, they can look at the list of accommodations that we're making and decide if that works for their family. This is a huge risk because if I don't get enough people coming, I can't pay the bills. I can't cover the rent. I have to have a certain number of classes run to even meet my rent obligation. My family is not untouched by this, but um, I try to look at it from a sense of reason and common sense, which I don't think is being used by people, and I don't think it's being used by government. The goalpost has been moved. To me, the best scenario is that we move through those phases very quickly um, to where public confidence comes back. That's, that's the thing that I need to have happen to save my business. There's a gamble in starting a small business. What I do is kind of um, unconventional, but um, there are so many aspects of this that have put my business in eight years of work in great jeopardy.